So this is the circuit diagram of a triple five uh, FM generator. These are the important two FMs. So in order to make a triple five FM generator, we need a triple five timer IC. This is a triple five timer IC, dual line package, eight pin dual line package. That is an eight pin DIP IC. So triple five IC works with the voltage five volt. For that we need a 5 volt regulator DC power supply. Now connect to VCC and ground terminals of regulated power supply on a breadboard properly. Now connect to pin number 8 to VCC. So for the proper working of triple 5 timer IC, we need a 5 volt regulator DC power supply. You say connecting wire and connect pin number 8 to VCC. Now connect to pin number 4 to VCC. Pin number 4 is the reset pin of triple 5 timer IC. Proper working of triple 5 timer IC without going to reset. We need to connect to pin number 4 to plus VCC. Now connect a 1.5 kilo ohm resistor between pin number 8 and pin number 7. These are the so this is the uh, charging resistor. Basically, this triple five timer will work as a square wave generator in this circuit. So we need two 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. The charging and discharging of that 0.1 microfarad capacitor will decide the duty cycle of that output waveform. Now connect another 1.5 kilo ohm resistor between pin number 7 and 6. So in order to make a square wave generator circuit with a 50 percentage duty cycle, we need a diode. Now we are going to connect a diode, silicon diode 1 and 4007 across the pin number 7 and 6. Connect anode, anode of this diode to pin number 7 and cathode to pin number 6. The cathode of this diode can be identified by using the white band on the one side of this. 194007 diode. So the purpose of uh, diode in this circuit is to make the duty cycle 50 percent that is on time is equal to off time. Now connect the capacitor. This is a 0.1 microfarad ceramic disc capacitor. Connect this capacitor 1 and 2 pin number 6 and the other end to the ground terminal. So the charging time and discharging time of this capacitor will decide the on and off time of the circuit that is the duty cycle. So in order to make the duty cycle 50 percent, we already connected a diode across pin number 7 and 6. Now connect 10 kilo ohm resistor across pin number 5 and ground terminal. So in this circuit, this triple 5 timer IC, this circuit will work as a square wave generator without giving the input signal. When we give the input signal input message signal to pin number 5 the output of the square wave generator or the stable multi vibrator using triple 5 ic will be varied in accordance with the amplitude of input signal now connect the input to coupling capacitor this is a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor connect its negative terminal to pin number 5 and at the positive end we will feed our input message signal. 
so the amplitude of uh, output so the frequency of the output waveform will vary in accordance with the amplitude of input message signal so in this way the frequency of message signal can be converted from low frequency to a very high frequency by using a fm generator now connect pin number 1 to ground use a connecting wire and connect it properly now connect to pin number 2 and 6 you say connecting wire and connect to pin number 2 and 6 now the connections are completed first we have to check whether the circuit works properly for that we have to connect the dso channel 1 to the pin number 3 so without giving any input to the circuit this circuit will works as a square wave generator or works as an unstable multi vibrator so without giving any input to the circuit we will get a square wave at the output so first we have to check the output of the circuit now you can see the output of the circuit without giving any input so this is almost equal to a square wave now measure the amplitude of the square wave and frequency so its frequency is around 11 kilohertz and its amplitude is around 5.4 volt adjust the attenuation input attenuation for getting the right amplitude so first we have to make an unstable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic with 50% duty cycle if it works properly then we have to feed the input low frequency message signal to the circuit then we will get a frequency modulated output waveform now connect the input that is the output of function generator to the input side of our triple five fm generator connect function generator to coupling capacitor and then connect the dso channel 2 to the input side in order to see the input waveform input message signal so in function generator set frequency 200 hertz and amplitude 3 volt peak to peak and in dc regulated power supply set 5 volt as dc regulated output voltage now on dso you can see both input and output output so the blue color waveform is the input message signal which is very low frequency and the output signal is yellow so now you can see that during the positive half cycle of our input message signal the am the frequency of uh, fm modulated signal is low that is at the peak of positive half cycle of the input message signal the frequency of output waveform is very low and during the negative half cycle output fm modulated wave frequency is very high so an fm modulator is basically a converter which convert a message signal uh, into a very high frequency modulated signal so the frequency of output signal will vary in accordance with the amplitude of input message signal during the positive half cycle its frequency will be less and during the negative half cycle output frequency will be very high in this way the circuit will convert a low frequency message signal into a very high frequency fm modulated wave so the frequency deviation will be in proportion with the input message signals amplitude
now measure the frequency of the output waveform measure all the values So in order to make an FM generator, first we have to make an as stable multi-vibrator using triple five timer IC. In order to make its duty cycle 50%, just connect a silicon diode 194007 across pin number 7 and 6. If you connect in such a diode across pin number 6 and 7, the charging and discharging time of the circuit will be the same. So uh, the time required to charge the capacitor will be 0.1 into 1.5 kilo ohm, 0.1 microfarad into 1.5 kilo ohm. That is the RC time constant for both the charging and discharging will be the same. That is why uh, we will we are getting a duty cycle of 50 percentage. After checking the square wave output without feeding the input message, if this works okay, then Connect the input message signal with the frequency 200 heads and 3 volt in peak to peak. Then you will get a frequency modulated output waveform. 